Right, this video is about the Poisson distribution. Um, we've already looked at the binomial distribution in S2, and you've probably looked at the normal distribution in S1. But this is the Poisson distribution named after a French mathematician called Simeon Poisson. So the Poisson distribution is a probability distribution, and it's used when a random event happens at a constant average rate. And the word rate is often a clue that you need to use the Poisson distribution. So the distribution gives the probability for every possible number of events in a period of time, or sometimes we consider an area of space. And there's a formula for calculating these probabilities. So, for example, suppose a bird goes digging for worms. On Maybe, on average, it finds five worms in an hour. We might be interested in finding the probability of finding two worms in an hour. What's the probability of finding two worms in an hour? Or, what's the probability of finding five worms in two hours? This is an example where we would use the Poisson distribution. Another example could be looking at the number of pandas in a particular area. We might find, on average, there's one panda in one square kilometre of a forest. We might want to find the probability of finding two pandas in one square kilometre, or maybe five pandas in two square kilometres. To answer these questions, we would use the Poisson distribution. So, in a Poisson distribution, events must happen one at a time, and the events must happen independently. So if we're thinking about birds digging for worms, the bird can only find one worm at a time. And finding one worm does not increase or decrease the probability of finding another worm. So what is this formula that I mentioned earlier? Well, we need to consider two variables. So the first one would be lambda, which is the mean number of events occurring in a particular interval and sometimes you'll see that written as a rate or as an average. And x is the actual number of events occurring in the particular interval. Be careful writing the x and the lambda. Try not to do that. Is that an x or is that a lambda? It's not clear. So using these parameters lambda and x, it can be shown that the probability that the actual number occurring is a particular value is lambda to the power x e to the minus lambda over x factorial. So e is 2.718218 etc etc etc. So for example if we've got a Poisson distribution with lambda is 3 so an event is occurring at an average rate of 3 uh, what's the probability that x equals 5 well, we say lambda is 3, so we need to put a 3 there. x is 5, so that x is 5. And it's e to the minus lambda, so that's e to the minus uh, 3 over x factorial. So we're trying to find the probability that uh, the particular event occurs 5 times. We know that um, x is 5. So we substitute 5 into that formula. The lambda value, the rate, the average rate is 3. So we substitute 3 into there. Uh, plug that into the calculator. That works out to be 0 0.101. Here's another example. On average, tourists see two koala bears a day. What's the probability that on a particular day, a tourist sees at least two koala bears? So this is a Poisson distribution, and the parameter is 2. It's 2 per day. So what we want to know is what's the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2. It says at least 2. So be careful about the word at least. At least 2, that includes 2, so that's why there's an equal sign there. So what we need to do for that is to find the probability um, that x equals 2 and x equals 3 and x equals 4, and x equals... Hang on a minute. Where do we stop? We don't stop. Although the probabilities are going to get very small, that's actually an infinite sequence. So this is not a good idea. So this is not how you do this. What we need to remember is that the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 
is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. Remember, we've got um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. That goes on forever. If x is greater than or equal to 2, that's all these numbers here. So the ones that are remaining are 0 and 1. So what we need to do is to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 1 uh, and take that away from 1. So here it is. So to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 1, that's the probability that x equals 1 and the probability that x equals 0. Substitute these into the uh, formula for x equals, no, x equals 1. It's 2 to the power 1 e to the minus 2 over 1 factorial. For x equals 0, it's 2 to the power 0 e to the minus 2 over 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1. So we work these out uh, and then add that, that number to that number, take away from 1 and you get 0.594. You should check those values yourself and check that you understand why it's 0 0.594. Now, you may be asked um, what assumptions you've made when answering this question. And the assumptions you've made is that the koala bears occur just one at a time. And finding one koala bear doesn't change the probability of finding another. The, the probabilities are independent. So this question is about polar bears in Svalbard and it's saying that on average there's 0.05 polar bears per hectare and we want the probability of finding four polar bears in 100 hectares. So you need, uh, obviously uh, with every question you need to make sure you read the detail and the information given in the question uh, because the rate is not 0 0.05. In 100 hectares it's going to be 100 times as big as 0.05. So this is a Poisson distribution and the parameter is 5 because in 100 hectares you would expect there to be 5 polar bears. How did I get that? I did 100 times 0 0.05. That's per hectare. 100 times 0 0.05 is 5. Uh, so what we want to know is what's the probability that x equals 4. So that's 5 to the power of 4 e to the minus 5 over 4 factorial which works out to be 0 0.175 to 3 sig figs. And this is assuming that polar bears uh, are found one at a time, and the presence of one polar bear doesn't change the probability of finding another. So this example was shown to you to remind you that sometimes you need to change this number. If it's per hectare, and then 100 hectares, you times 100 times 0 0.05 to get 5. And the last example is fairly similar to the last one, it's just slightly more complicated because we've got uh, right whales in the Atlantic and there's 400 evenly distributed through 180,000 hectares in the Gulf of Maine. The area of Cape Cod is 1,500 hectares, so what's the probability there's at least one of these whales in Cape Cod Bay? So what we've got is 400 whales in 180,000 hectares. So how many whales would you expect in one hectare? Well, in that, uh, in one hectare, you would expect. Have you worked it out yet? Four hundred over one hundred and eighty thousand whales. But we haven't got one hectare. We've got fifteen hundred hectares. So in fifteen hundred hectares. You would expect, have you got it? 400 over 180,000 times 1500, and that works out to be 10 over 3. Not 16 over 3, 10 over 3. So, what we've got is a Poisson distribution 10 over 3, and we wanted to find the probability that we find at least one whale. Uh, so that's 1 minus the probability that we don't find any. So the probability that we don't find any is 10 thirds to the power of naught 
times e to the minus 10 thirds over 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1, so that's uh, 0.036. So the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1 is 1 minus 0 0.036, which is 0 0.964 to 3 sig figs. And there you have it, that's our introduction to the Poisson distribution.